Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about Ubuntu Touch and the latest OTA 14 release. I'll also be looking at Ubuntu Touch for the Pine Phone and just testing it out and seeing what has improved over the last few months. Before we get started, if you like my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, PeerTube, and you can follow me on Odyssey. So with this OTA 14 release here, one of the big changes is that Ubuntu Touch is now working for a lot more devices. So you have the Xiaomi Redmi 4X, Huawei Nexus 6P, and the Sony Xperia Z4 tablet. One of the big updates for this release is that they've worked on supporting Android 9 devices. One of the devices that it will help is the Volaphone that uh, Ubuntu Touch will be releasing on. One other big change is that Oxide, which was a web renderer used in the early days of Ubuntu Touch, that's going to be phased out. And so this is going to affect a lot of older apps on Ubuntu Touch that relied on this Oxide web rendering engine. So some very old apps may not work, but I know a lot of the newer apps have moved on to using Qt as a base. And speaking of Qt or Qt, They've been working on getting Ubuntu Touch ready to be updated from Qt 5.9 to 5.12. This is going to help a lot with startup uh, times for apps and just general memory use. And it's going to actually prepare Ubuntu Touch to be released and based on Ubuntu 20.04. So that's a lot of uh, really good changes under the hood there. And in the past few months, there's been a lot of community devices being experimented on. If you go to their devices uh, page on their website, you can see a list of all the phones that are working and, you know, it'll give you the maturity level of how good and stable that OS is or the device. And it's a good list to look at and, you know, to kind of check in on every once in a while. I know me personally, I'm planning on trying to see if I can install Ubuntu Touch on the OnePlus 6T. That's going to be fun and uh, stay tuned for possibly a future video on that. So here you have the Pine phone. And one of the biggest differences is that it's a lot smoother and a lot more responsive. So here I'm going to test out the Morph browser. Scrolling through the, the browser. It's just very smooth. I go to the images here in DuckDuckGo. It's um, pretty buttery smooth. Although a lot of apps work, they run a lot slower compared to something like the LG Nexus 5. I'm not sure if that's a hardware limitation uh, on the Pine phone or if that's more of a software limitation. I notice other games, you know, some games are playable, some of them aren't. And then lastly, the camera. Previously, the camera wasn't working at all, but now we do have some improvements uh, with the camera. You can actually see things through the camera now. It's just that the viewfinder is very, very slow. And I think this is something that could be improved with the software. Uh, so we'll see it and stay up to date on how this goes here. In terms of the phone functionality features, um, I won't be able to test that quite yet. Um, I'll still need to get an adapter to insert my SIM cards onto the Pine phone. Otherwise, um, just stay tuned and I'll be releasing some videos testing everything with the Pine phone and other phones that are running Ubuntu Touch. So there you guys have it. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.